At Surgical Science, we are now glad to present our latest annual release of LAPSIM, LAPSIM 2016. We do these updates every year to make sure LAPSIM continues to meet our customers' expectations. And this is, again, really a result of your feedback and input, which we appreciate so much. First, we now launch a complete update of one of our most popular modules, cholecystectomy, our oldest procedural module and heavily used, so we thought it was time to modernize it. You'll see it has all new graphics and better physical behavior. And it's now possible to do the complete procedure, including dissection of the hepatocystic triangle and freeing the gallbladder all in a row, making the exercise longer and more challenging. Also, we now include anatomy variations of the ducts and arteries to increase the complexity. Another new feature that's been inquired is blunt dissection possibility, which we now have included. We've improved the realism of the VATS lobectomy procedure by adding the pulmonary artery to the scene. This is an important structure to relate to, and before it was not a dynamic part of the exercise, but now it is, so you'll find the exercise a bit more difficult to complete. Also, you will see that you can now interact with more of the surrounding tissues. Many customers have asked for a preview of the scene before an exercise starts to get the anatomical context. So now there's a short display of port positions while an exercise is loading. Here, you see the location of our appendectomy. Teacher mode, where you do all the admin work and course handling, is an important part of LabSim. First of all, we've added an instrument configuration tab where you can select and exclude instruments from exercises, depending on how you want your residents to train. Also, many minor improvements have been made to simplify and help administering courses and trainees, including visualized routines, easier data export, etc., all to make it easier and more fun to run your course program. LAPSIM 16 will be sent out automatically to all our subscribing customers. If you're not on the upgrade program but would like to run the latest version, just let us know and we'd be happy to help.